Hi, I'm William with the Plano Public Library. Today we'll be studying these, our fingers, and investigating the science of our prints. It's time to take out your scientific notebook and start making some steam connections. Have you ever noticed that when you touch something it leaves a mark, especially on a shiny surface, like a phone screen or a tablet device, or when you use tape? Our skin naturally produces sweat. When we touch a surface, we leave some sweat behind. That sweat leaves an imprint of our finger, a fingerprint. Do you see the tiny squiggle lines in your fingerprint? Those are friction ridges. Friction ridges are raised por portions of the epidermis, the skin. Similar ridges appear on our toes, our palms, and on the soles of our feet. These ridges help us to grab things and grip objects. Without the friction they provide, items would routinely slip from our hands. A person's fingerprints are formed when they are developing in their mother's womb. Pressure on the fingers from contact with the surroundings create the friction ridges. Each print is unique, not even identical twins share the same fingerprints. Let's find out what your prints look like. What patterns do you notice in your prints? Fingerprints have three patterns, loops, whirls, and arches. Loops are patterns that do not twist. They go upward and loop back around. In the middle, the shape would look like a banana. Loops are the most common pattern. Whirls from, form circular or spiral patterns like tiny whirlpools. There's a dot or a ring and the pattern circles around it. Arches are patterns that run through continuously from one side of the finger to the other like a wave and make no backward turns. Fingerprints also have minutiae points, which are points where the ridge structure changes. These are useful in matching a fingerprint to a specific person. 